friends, Kristen here. Today we're going to talk about kayak clothing. So the first thing I want you to know is you want to avoid cotton. Cotton isn't a great material for the water. Save it for camp when you want to put on your comfy clothes. It's not great on the water because it takes a long time to dry. It loses all its insulating properties when it's wet and it's very heavy when it's wet. But while you're on the water, you want to use fabric that dries quick or technical fabric. So let's start from the bottom up. To start with are shoes. And what you'll see me in most of the time is Astral Brewers. I love Astrals because they keep the rocks out, they are comfortable in the water and out of the water, and they have nice grippy soles to keep you from slipping around on the rocks. What I hate about them is I made the mistake of wearing them when they were new on a three day trip and I ended up with blisters everywhere. So I learned the hard way to wear socks with them. So in warmer weather, you'll find me wearing Astral Brewis with regular cheapy Walmart socks just to help prevent blisters. So in the cooler weather, you'll see me wearing my Astrals with my neoprene socks. I gave up on trying to keep my feet dry a long time ago. It's just practically impossible. And so I wear neoprene socks or hydroskin socks to keep my feet warm when the water or the weather is cooler. These are Brewis, the first edition, and they worked out really great. However, my second pair of Astral Brewis, I have not loved as much. So this year I'm probably gonna try something different, but I recommend these if they work for your feet. They are great water shoes. So let's talk about pants now. To be honest, I don't have a great solution for underwears because all I've really found that fits is cotton underwear. So if I need underwear, that's what I go with. If you have a solution, put it down in the comments. Also, I'll put links for all this stuff in the comments. So you can find it if you think you want it. Alright, so when it's cooler weather, what I'm wearing is pants. And you will find me in these pants. These are pants from King Size Direct. They're men's. And they carry large sizes. I like them because they have deep pockets so my phone doesn't fall out. And they have this nice zipper pocket over here, which is where my keys go. And then I make sure I zip it so that I always have my keys with it. So these are made out of polyester and spandex. And they dry fast. They're lightweight. They're a little noisy when you're in the house. But outside you don't really notice. So... I have several pair of these, and they're the closest thing that I found to technical pants. I wear them hiking, fishing, everything else too. So then I have been known to borrow my husband's swim trunks. Oh, they're great because they dry fast. They got this nice mesh lining. They um, have pockets for when you're out of the water. However, I wouldn't put your uh, fishing pliers in there or you might drop them in the river when you sit down. Don't ask me how I know. And they got another little pocket over here. They dry fast. Um, they are easy to find in big sizes at the big man's store. However, you they don't stretch. So you wanna make sure that they are comfortable when you are sitting all out in your kayak. So double check that. I 
don't like them for the sit inside kayak because they hang up on the side of the kayak when I'm trying to get in. So in that situation and in most warm weather situations you'll find me rocking some bike shorts, kind of shorts. They're lightweight, they dry fast, they work great. These come from Swimsuits for All and they're made out of swimsuit material. I got a couple pair of those. You want to make sure that you check each season that you haven't frayed. Hold your hold it up to the light and uh, make sure that all your bits are covered. One last thing that I like are these shorts. They're heavier, but they're more shorty, short-like. They're also made out of swimsuit material from Swimsuits for All, and they have a built-in brief, which makes them, um, you know, less likely that anything's going to show through. Um, they're comfortable, and I like them as well. So that is what I wear for bottoms. All right, guys and gals. Now we're at the part where we talk about the tatas. So you can step out of the room if you want, fellas. Um, girls, we got to keep them tatas contained. They can get in the way of paddling, right? Got to keep them all together. <laughs> so here's what I do to for tata management. So when it's uh, cooler weather and I ain't planning on getting wet, I just rocking a sports bra. Sports bras are kind of made to dry quickly and manage moisture, so they work great. This one is from Torrid. Um, doesn't have any wires or anything. It's super stretchy. It's new, um, but I've used it a few times now, and I'm loving it. So, um, sports bra when you don't plan on getting wet. So, cooler weather, that kind of thing. But if you are planning on getting wet or going to get out of your kayak and swim, we just have the fun of kayaking I'm going with the swimsuit top and um, I don't like just wearing a swimsuit for kayaking I like more coverage more sun protection just personal preference you can wear a swimsuit if you want to I have been using um, bikini tops or fat bikini as we call them tops for a while as you can tell this one's a little grungy but it served me several seasons now so but it does a good job of keeping everything under control. Uh, picked this one up on clearance recently. I'm going to try it out this year. But it's just another example of a, of a bra type thing for kayaking. I'm uh, feeling anti-wire this year though. So I picked this up recently from Torrid online. It's a swimsuit top. Kind of in the shape of a sports bra. So I kind of combine the swimsuit material, the sports bra fit, and boom. Haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you know how it works. But it's available at Torrid right now. So those are my Tata management options. So next, let's talk about tops. In the cooler weather, when I'm fishing, I'm going with a fishing shirt. This one is from DXL, it's men's. It's Columbia PFG. I like it for the hood and the quick dry material. That's about it. But when I need a long sleeve for sun protection, while I'm out fishing all day, in cooler weather, I'm going with this. Summertime, however, I'm back to my swimsuit material. And I really like these shirts. They're called swim tunics from Swimsuits for All. They're long, so when I got the bike shorts on, they cover the parts you want covered. And, uh, you know, the other parts you want covered. And so, I've got a couple of these. And they come in nice hideous colors. But that's, that's about all you got. So, the good part is, that if you need to be rescued you'll be easily seen so um, I like the coverage they provide I would love it if they've made a long sleeve one with a closed neck for more sun protection but this is this is what we got it dries fast it covers everything 
So, here's another one. What sizes are they? These are size, this one is a 36. I think that one's a 32 or 34. This is probably the biggest size is 36. And the navy one matches my navy bike shorts. They look all cute. So, all right, moving on to the last thing. The last thing on the water, looking fly. I'll be wearing my wide brimmed hat. Keeps the sun off, keeps my nose and neck from being burnt. And I know it's dorky, but it serves its purpose. And I just embrace the dork. Something I didn't bring that I should talk about, probably the most important thing, is your PFD, your personal flotation device. I have a theory that most of us fat people float real well, but I'm not going to try it out in a dangerous situation. So I'm always wearing my PFD when I'm on the water. Life vest, life jacket. That's what we're talking about. Arm floaties. Arm floaties are not sufficient for the job. And remember, the outdoors is for every body. It'd be great to go brawless and free willy, but 